Welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Review. Today I am off to check out the new horror anthology film, Satanic Hispanics. So what is the story of this movie? Well, it seems that the police in El Paso raid a home and find only one sole survivor. Apparently the place is filled with dead bodies. And they ask this person, who is only known as the Traveler, what happened. And so the Traveler tells their tale of the dead bodies like why are there so many dead hispanic people in this house the traveler tries to answer that question that's the that's the movie it's a horror anthology film okay so anyways why am i excited to see this well because i absolutely love horror anthology films and i like them the most during the spookiest of seasons halloween i'm not sure why i've always been a real big fan of horror anthology films right around the spookiest of seasons i guess it takes me back to the old days when you used to sit around and tell ghost stories to each other maybe that's why because you don't get just one story in a horror anthology you get several i don't know how many stories we're getting in this movie i guess i'll go find out i'll let you know once i get back home but i gotta get out the door because i need to go check out satanic hispanics boy that does kind of sound weird when you say it like that Welcome back. Just getting home, and you know what, guys? I really enjoyed this movie from beginning to end, and I have nothing but good things to say about this movie. Okay, so let's get this started, shall we? The first thing I want to talk about are the amazing practical effects. There was a little bit of CGI, but it definitely wasn't relying on CGI at all. It was just there to kind of enhance things just a little bit, and there were some other things in the film that just couldn't have been pulled off practically, so yes, they used some CGI, but it does not look bad at all. The practical effects is where this movie shines. They went old school horror, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. This film probably didn't have a very large budget to begin with, but the film doesn't look cheap. It was very well made and very well crafted. Now, with this being a horror anthology film, we have five different stories in this film and a wraparound story. And every single one of the stories lands. They're all great. Normally, when you go to see a horror anthology, there might be one, maybe two of the stories where you're like, that one's okay. If I watch it at home, I'll generally skip past it or go up and do the dishes real quick when that story comes on. But in this one, you aren't going anywhere. Every single one of the stories in this is solid. It's either traditional scary ass horror or you also get some horror comedy thrown in there just to not keep you scared out of your mind for almost two hours. The movie is a bit long for a horror film. It does guess go under two hours, but it does not slow down. At no point during this film did I feel bored. I enjoyed every aspect of this film. Now, like I said, we have five different stories in this and a wraparound. So getting things started, the wraparound story in this, I really enjoyed the way they presented it. It's mostly, just like I said in the intro, they find someone who calls himself the Traveler at this you know, police raid a house in El Paso. They find this one survivor there surrounded by dead bodies. They take him back 
ask him a bunch of questions, and of course the answers are the stories that we see played out. And I thought that was a really cool way for a wraparound story to be presented, you know, being questioned by the police and so on and so forth. So it was very good. Our other stories all focus on so many different types of horror. You have culty, traditional kind of, uh, what would you call it, tribal horror. There's a slasher story. There's a ghost story. There are all sorts of different genres of horror presented here. You have the suspenseful, psychological thriller type story in this. And they are all really good and well done. Each one of these movies, or each one of these stories almost seems like its own movie and the film is also presented in such a way that it kind of makes you feel like you're reading a book because it, tell, it tells everything the story wise will pop up and say like chapter one chapter two so on and so forth just to kind of give you an idea so it really does work with that halloween vibe in my opinion again like i've said before in the past i love a good horror anthology film around halloween maybe it's the ghost story vibe of it and the fact that our wraparound story has a guy telling stories i guess that really helped me a lot in this film the acting is also very solid i noticed people that i'd seen before and other things but nobody really stood out i'm sorry apologize and every one of these stories is a different uh latino director and i unfortunately am not going to try to pronounce their names and embarrass myself because i'm so good at doing that but i'm definitely going to look these guys up or these folks up and learn more about them and see what other horror movies these folks have made because wow if this was just a taste i want to see some more so if that's all i have for you guys this is a solid get out there check it out in theaters if this movie is in your area go see it because here we are in spooky season and i'm telling you folks this is a perfect movie to get out and enjoy during the halloween season well that's all i have for you today thanks again for checking the film geek out if you liked what you saw here go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications and give me the old thumbs up so i know you like what you're seeing and if there's one more thing you could do folks that is keep watching movies you know i'm gonna <laughs>